Hash bar. Hash bar. Hash bar. Chilling at the hash bar. Chilling at the hash bar. Chilling at the hash bar. It's the meteor. It's the fireball. It's the dying sun. It's the D-Rex. Coil money collab for 2020-2013. It's representative representative of the Earth going through the apocalypse, imploding, exploding, destruction, creation, all simultaneous. Exactly. It might be like one of the things that exists in hell. For a second, you think it's like the floor or the wall, but then it's all moving and it's things like that. Only you get high on it, so are you really in hell? Weird. Whoever gets this piece is gonna be sick. Cause it's awesome. I'll never make another one like that. That thing. Stealing your thunder, dude. I'm telling him I'm you. Can you just play the So you're the infamous squirrel? Yes. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Hashbar TV. Hashbar TV? Yeah. What's up, Hashbar TV? I'm proud of you. How come he has a rag this year? Blanky, you know? Blanky, yeah. It's a sleepy dino onesie. Oh, yeah. It's the artist here that had the truck, like the little Tonka truck with the teeth and fucking oh, yeah, that's the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's sick. Carlson's the man, that's why they're like so nice, you know? It's the first time that he's done the solid patterns. Like each square is like a separate chip that he takes. So like this head has like a hundred chips in it. It took him like forever to put it all together, but he hasn't released any work in this uh, or series of like patterns yet. So like that's why they're like so hyped. Yeah, I wanted to keep this little mini guy. I wanted to keep that one, but he did. Just the box is a work of art in itself, you know? Like, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell unless you have it in your hand, but like, it looks like corduroy almost, like, where the feet are attached, if you're looking at it through the side view. It like, cool. gives it a lot of depth. I don't know why, but just the way he, he fabricates it, you know? It comes with like a putting green. You can actually take the little golf clubs and the little balls and like put it into a hole. And then there's a tee box too, and you can like put one of the balls on the tee. I wouldn't try to hit it the ball off of there, but. It's like, it works out. Wow. And it hits. Yeah, where, where is the smoke going yeah. inside of it? Because it's just in the air. So there's a dome with the, that's holding all the balls, and then it goes down to an inline, and then it goes up through the bear and out its arm. And then we customize it with a custom bear claw top and the bear claw on the front of it, and then the golf bag it has a little bear claw drop. Wow. Um, that's fucking amazing. Does it, does it roll? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it like, was so crazy to even just make that thing, you know? Like, trying yeah. to make it roll and be something completely different. Uh, Money is like a vinyl toy. Uh, this company, Kid Robot, makes these big, these blank vinyl toys that you can draw on and paint on and customize. Yeah. But they don't have one for glass artists to put their like style on, so... I tried to make them out of glass for people to collaborate with. There's like a big one over there for people to write on. Oh, yeah, big, yeah, like yeah. an original model. Oh, cool. So it's like not my design per se, but I just brought it into the whole pipe world. Yeah, no, that's cool. And how do you pronounce it? Like money? Like Yeah, M U N Y money. Do you know um, Rob Van Dam? You're very impressive. The piss, because you're not allowed to have video cam out here. The piss. I'm about to attack you. What's up? What's up? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Let's see the other thing. Straw dabbers. Yeah. Straws. Oh, that's sick. This one, you use the straw mouthpiece and the little top acts as a splash card that feels white with smoke, and then when you clear it, it's, it looks like you ate down to the parfait thing. Really neat in the parfait belly. He has two other dabbers, these donuts, he's baking are also dabbers. Pull these out. He's got this really cool hollow dish, but the actual donut is hollow, and then it's got this clear belly, really cool so you can see your product down there in the bottom. And then it kind of blends in there with the rest of the donuts. It's the healthiest donut, only one of my favorite pieces of the show. This is um, sake bomb and, um, and, and quilt. It's the uh, parfait money. It's got the parfait hat and the cherry dabber topper. It's 
uh, dabber in the back there. And you get this other dabber here, the peach, peach slice on the fork. It sculpted the fork really well. The shape of the peach is very, very accurate. It's really well with the blueberries. You get the blueberry toppers on the end. The sculpt is very accurate. The coolest dome of all I've probably seen at the show. It's um, all removable, one piece. It comes off. It's, um, this is a several pieces, all attachments to the central or main dome piece, hand ground joint on it. So you would use your concentrate nail here, and you keep the nail up, and then basically cover the nail with the um, oh my God. vapor dome. And then you would apply your concentrate with the um, dabber of your choice here to the nail, and it would instantly vaporize. This is the mouthpiece that you get, on the neck of the piece actually. A gun dabber and a knife dabber, a banana stuck in his head, trademark of the, um, the dummy line. Put in the buds and stack it up. I make a fruit parfait, the fruit on the top is done, so you can put it off. Take it off. And then the cherry on the top is a dabber, so you can use it as a dabber. Are you going to be doing some more pieces in the future? I think so. Tribal tales of ages in the inner eye of man's health through trust. A concentrated crust of the dust would supply a thrust. Funneling rush, different bags tunneling and digging. Colombians brew hot steamy, not as extreme as DMT. Yet gleaming, view being dreamy. Has bar TV scenes, numbering a hundred teen thousand. Anxiety ridden, hidden in from glaucoma. Stupid sense of big imprisonment. Exoskeleton inspired symbolism. Has to see an assassin massacre. Ports paper nail, you heat up, take off the dome, heat up the nail, place the dome. Apply your concentrate to the top of the nail, it goes down the downstream here to work into the inline, that's where your fusion takes place. It goes through the diffuser up through this disc, up through this piece, and then through the wish bone suspension back to this neck. Does it work as a microscope? It does, and you can, I was hoping in some of the new versions you'd be able to look down and they have a magnifying setup, but this one doesn't. Sometimes they put opals and things and flip. Dabber looks like a drop. It's very, very popular for doing the semi grawl style, like called it the Chinoiserie. It's a um, China White series, he calls it. You have a mustache. This small thing is um, is usually considered a dabber for the character, for your concentrate, but this is actually a functional pipe as well. So it's a small version of his unique pipe that he's famous for making. Kirby. I feel heavy. I don't know what to do. I feel really neat this huge sword dabber. It's like a Daito long sword. Apply the concentrate to the piece here. The hollow sleeves are cool. These solid feet all have texturing and, and nail detail. Foil's monkey head that he's very famous for. So this is what ties it all together and makes it a coil piece instead. It has the monkey head. This is collabs with Zach Buckwitz. He did all the sculpting. And what's tying it together is coil condenser. It has again the monkey face with those ringy eyeballs. Um, all sandblasted detail down to the toenails, fingernails, and everything on this. Really neat distressed um, finish on it. Slayer boots. Yeah, that's Jay Lee. That's one of the um, most famous pipers of our generation. He's um, famous for doing these. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of booze left, so he's been drinking it. <laughs> Look at his face. I mean, the sculpting is just top notch on him. But the clearance here, if you look at this clearance issue he's got with his hand, I mean, it's very hard to do and very hard to get these angles and all to look right. And then how it sits all here off balance, but it's very, very sturdy and very balanced. So to smash that together and pinch that and get that all back close together is so hard, dude. Look at his knee. Millimeters there. And his face. Look at the detail on this guy's face. Mean mugging. The marini eyes. The slime nipples. You would basically be dabbing here with this. It's so sick. It's got four dabbers. They're all storable. Yeah, so you could load them all up at once, get them all ready to go, and then rock and roll. Sitting here smoking some bud and a little green man can't head what's up Said yo what's going on with you I said yo what's going on with you I see trippy shit inside Shit that I've never seen before I'm Rose flying a. around I'm coasting around I'm levitating I'm floating off the ground I can't control this vibe I can't control what's going on in my mind I see creatures, features, everything inside Things I never felt before I'm Going away, yo, going away To another galaxy here today Yo I'm gonna go come with me It's the 
a goblin sculpture that Mike's been making for a long time. He makes, every time a new color comes out, he makes one of these little pendants in the sculpture and they use it as a sample chart for the colors that are coming out each year. It's got his ice cream scoop dabbers here that uh, can be removed and used to help fire concentrate. It's got this really simple hand ground uh, dome with a little titanium scribe on there with their property logo. This is a brand new color that just came out on the scene. Really, really cool. It's translucent. This version's on mushrooms, so the dabber is actually different multicolored mushrooms. Elbow and Coil did this one. Elbow's famous for doing the tanks. He did the tanks for a long time. It was one of the first series he did. This one's cool because it's got the flat paint polished um, dabber that pulls out there, projectile dabber. Yeah. ATST Duck Walker, based on uh, Rhino's Duck series. On the top, so it has Rhino's signature plunger dabber hidden in the holder that just kind of slides right here into the cannon. It's a really unique and feature. A little stick and combo cockpit section. It's gonna feel white with smoke when you use it, and then when you carve it, it's gonna be disappear and you're gonna see the figure again. Over intersecting lines of uh, white, but if you look in between each crosshatch, there's actually a droplet of air uh, trapped in between there. So it's a very hard, old school technique. It's very, very popular, very hard to execute. Um, has a matching dome, matching belly section, a really small diffuser that's in there. And this is money number one. So this is chip collector money number one. So he's a multi-color basket moving chips. These are all welded together in the little chips. So this is direct injection as well with a matching dome. And we got the beach ball pattern going on. Up inside, I can't control what's going on in my mind. Different colors flying around me. I can't control what I would don't want to see. I'm fucked up, twisted inside. I think that I've lost my fucking mind. Cause I've never seen this shit before. I'm levitating, I'm losing the floor. I'm levitating off of the ground. I can't control you where I'm going now. Floating around, I'm close to coasting around. Different colors when I leave the ground. Different animals floating around me. Different creatures I never thought I would see. Fucked up, you are feeling inside. I'm so fucked up. In the Bear series, got the eye milli, really cool blaster gun that's a dabber, so you can pull it out, it's got the little dabber point on the bottom. And all this stuff here, the micro details on there, just the little tiny things like the rivets and those lines, and it looks so realistic, and so well done. <laughs> What's up? You want to dash? <laughs> you want to get high? <laughs> you want to smoke some weed, man? <laughs> this is the blow molded honey bear. It's based on the um, honey bears that people were customizing and making into water bites. Very, very collectible. It's got the bamboo dabber that covers up. It appears non functional when it's sitting in there. Your direct injection, so you put your vapor nail here. Um, your mouthpiece is a single bamboo in the middle. Something you can just have on your desk at work and nobody even knows what it is. They're not going to touch it to think it's your glass art. And then when you're all gone, so you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> so this is uh, the slop cup right here. And who did this? This is by basically um, Zach Puckowitz and, and Slop. And he goes by Dice Sasuke Saito. And this is one of the early collabs they did together. And it's got the Punish Series brick exterior over lightning work um, slime sections that are kind of stacked on top of each other. It also has a signature logo, lasting slot logo right there. And then it has an animation girl theme kind of to it. So it's a really neat piece. It's a mini cup. It is glass on glass, so it has a movable diffuser and bowl. So this looks get, like it's been used before. Yeah, yeah it has a little bit of a mark on it. That particular piece. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me we can try it right here. 
Yeah. Look at you, dabs. It is 420. Is it getting close to 710 right now? Because if it is, it's time to do some dabs. It's already been broken in. <laughs> I can't my eyes, I can't move. Hey, smart.